It's okay. Hey, don't cry. Hey. 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 Good girl. Yeah. How are you? Hey. Now, this is Baby X. So she's animated live by neural networks using a simplified brain simulation model. And so she's seeing me and hearing me. I just... Uh, Thank you, Apple. Um, so she's seeing me and hearing me, and you know, as I move around, you, know, you can see she's watching me. I'll show you what she can actually see here. So you can see my face here, so anything that I do, I get her attention. She's looking over here. She can see the different audio. Now, we can do all kinds of things with her like you can with a real baby. So it's, uh, hey, sweetie, hey. That's funny. So now she can also learn in real time. So the point of Baby X is making an autonomous character that can actually experience things in similar ways to us. So basically experiences all kinds of events through life and then constructs a, a history of memories of those things. So, so I'll show you a little bit about um, what's going on underneath the hood here, but let's just see if she's going to actually um, uh, play nicely. So let's, hey, what's this? What's this? Fire. Fire. <laughs> Bad. Bad. So I can still fear in her and condition her emotionally. And, but let's see what's actually driving underneath the hood here. So if we, I'm um, just going to go to a different mode, and I'm just going to start revealing the layers. So she's actually completely driven. She has a whole virtual nervous system and a virtual physiology. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so she's hearing and responding live. So everything's live here. Also, it's a, it's a baby simulation, so she's going to do whatever she wants and, and embarrass me, probably. So, um, but anyway, we, we, I'm going to go through. So she's even got a virtual heart here. Virtual heart is controlled by basically her virtual nervous system. So as she gets stressed out, the heart will start beating. Same with the lungs. So it's all about, in creating a model, it has to be about something. So, you know, we have a large part of our brain dedicated to about our body. So this is about embodied cognition. So if we go in a little bit deeper, and then we take a look, you can actually see her virtual brain here. So we model all kinds of different aspects of the brain. This is all running live. So such as the, the brain stem, because the brain stem is basically connecting your brain to your body, how you act and move and respond. And so you can see different things, like if I zoom in, here you'll see things like the, the ocular motor nuclei and the brain stem. You'll see things like the pituitary gland, which releases things like oxytocin. You've got the paraventricular nucleus. We've got all these types of models here. I'll go in one level deeper. And you can start, um, whoops. So you start basically seeing all these different behaviors generated in real time. So basically the brain model is actually creating all the behaviors. Now, if I come out of here, and we, I'll just turn this off here. Let's, so if it's more here. Okay, so I'm not gonna say she, fire. So you'll see this is the memory that she just created. So if you look around here in this area here, every time I say the word fire, fire. So she's piecing together, she's reconstructing her memory, and it's all done multimodally. So she's reconstructing the emotion at the time, the visual stimuli at the time, the auditory stimulation at the time. And basically, I'll give her her skin back on. There we go. So basically, she's sort of built to sort of learn and experience like a human. Now, of course, she's virtual, so she can't walk around in the real world, but she can interact with things on the internet, like a, a two-year-old might do on an iPad. So if we connect her to, like, um, I'll just connect her to the a game here, so let's see. So this is, this, is, this is a game that she can play. Now, I can interact with her. So if I can, I can move these blocks around, and just like a real baby, she'll probably knock them over. So I'm just going to build up something here. Come on. Hey, what are you going to do? 
What you gonna do? Yeah, what you gonna do? Let's make it more. Oh. So she's actually controlling the mouse, so she can actually go onto the internet and give me your credit card details later and she'll be able to log you into all kinds of stuff. Now, apart from this, so let's um, give her a little bit of uh, entertainment so she's not just stuck doing uh, these games. So, so basically, I'm going to, uh, let's see. So now she's watching, watching this video. And let's turn up the volume a bit and see how she responds. the music's is affecting her vestibular system, which is starting to generate movement patterns in her body. So she's automatically responding to the beat. Now, um, anyway, I think it's uh, almost bedtime for her. So um, I'm gonna, I've got a, uh, a little bedtime story for her, one of the books which has been saved. So uh, let's see, I'll turn off the uh, music. And hey, sweetheart, don't cry. I'm going to show you a story. Look. Hey, look, look. Let's see what you can see. Look. Hey, right. Hey, look, look. Okay. Good night, moon. In the great green room, there was a telephone and a red balloon and a picture of... And a picture of the cow jumping over the moon. And there were three little bears sitting on chairs and two little kittens and a pair of mittens and a little toy house and a young mouse and a comb and a brush and a bowl full of mush. Good night, moon. Good night, moon. Good night, cow jumping over the moon. Good night, light in the red balloon. Good night, kittens. And good night, mittens. Good night, clocks. And good night, socks. Thank you.